Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I wanted to do a little bit of a follow-up on my, I guess, figuring out how to apply the principles or the concepts from Building a Second Brain, the book, into my planning system. Now, if you saw my video where I talked about my planner set up for 2024, I had shared that I am going to be using one book one planner for everything for the entire year as it relates to planning. I still have separate notebooks for different projects, different topics or subjects, but as it relates to actual planners, like a, a planner, <laughs> it's only going to be the one book for me and that is where I have found my, my sweet spot as it relates to planning. But what I wanted to talk about today is something in this book that I recently learned and I'm really trying to use it as I relate as I relate it to my planning and filtering the information that I want to keep track of or that I want to remember or things that I want to make sure I have access to later. So in the book, he talks about how to figure out how to capture information and I wanted to share these with you of course I'm not going to read you know every little thing but he has this capture criteria I think I think this is a male I think <laughs> uh, but anyways he writes here here are four criteria I use to help you decide exactly which nuggets of knowledge are worth keeping number one does it inspire me Two is, is it useful? And this is where a lot of the information that I either write down, archive, save, share, whatever, falls under, under this criteria. Then we have, is it personal? And then the last one is, is it surprising? And surprisingly, this one kind of surprised me because there have been things that I have come across that were surprising to me and I never thought to really share them. I, I just kind of looked at it and said, oh wow that's interesting or oh wow that's surprising but I never it never went past that so when he points that out in the book as that being one of the criteria of something to save something to archive something to share or even something to make plans with you know like for example if an event comes up and I'm surprised like oh wow I didn't know that was happening well now I can do something with that because I may not want to plan to attend the event right in that moment but the fact that an event is coming up that I may want to attend, well, that's definitely something I want to capture and maybe just write on a sticky note in my planner. Okay, I'll revisit this. You know, if I make the decision I'm going to go, then I need to start making plans, you know, travel arrangements, whatever the case may be. So I just wanted to share this because I thought as this relates to our planning, how are we deciding what goes in our planner, what goes in our commonplace notebook, or what is something that we need to maybe not even capture at all. Because that's the first part in his system here, which is code. And it starts here in chapter four, keep what resonates. So I just thought this was really interesting because now it's making me much more intentional as it relates to my planning, as it relates to note taking. And the other thing is too, is sometimes I have been guilty of just saving everything or making notes on everything. And then I get overwhelmed when I try to go back and find something because it's just too much <laughs> and there's no structure to it. There's no order or organization to it. So hopefully this will be helpful to you like it was to me. Now, uh, I do wanna check in with my planner. Uh, I'm already starting to think about what, what's happening next week, which is why I'm here on Monday, January 8th. But today is Wednesday. So you can see I've already got some things done here. Uh, I did a post office run. I actually could check that off. I need to work on my social media posts. I need to edit and upload a video. Went to the grocery store already. And then I have some appointments here. 
and then I've got some stuff already plugged in for tomorrow. So this is very much simple, easy, and not a whole lot to it. But I'm wondering if I need to start including maybe a, an, an additional sheet of paper like in between the planning pages for me to start capturing notes and ideas. Because even though I have a separate notebook, I'm thinking that maybe as I come across things throughout the week, am I going to have enough room to capture those things either on my daily pages, on my weekly pages, or maybe on note pages? The thing is, is I, I really want to know, like I want to keep track of when I found something or when I come across something, because later on that will help me determine whether or not I, I need to keep it for future reference or if it's something that I can discard or eliminate or archive in some way. So that's kind of how things are playing out so far. I know we're only in the first week of January, but like I said, I'm being really intentional and really mindful of how I am planning because I have felt really out of sorts the past few months and I don't think it had anything to do with planning per se I think it could just be you know life and things and responsibility and really uh, quite honestly is just wanting many parts of my life to be different and, and feeling a little frustrated because I don't know how to change them. Now, I know I could take action and I can do certain things, but for the most part, um, I really want to figure out what are the actions I need to take and then what, what the plan is for me to get from, you know, A to B, so to speak, or A to Z or whatever. So I just wanted to do that quick check-in and then share with you what I, what I uh, kind of learned as it relates to this book. Now, if you are familiar with this book, uh, this basically is about digital organization, like having a second brain basically, and having access to all of the information digitally so you don't have to carry around a planner or a notebook or, or write stuff down and then it gets lost or anything like that. But there's a lot of concepts in here that I think carry over to you know, paper planning. So as I come across more things, I'll share them with you. Uh, we're almost getting to the end of it in my book club, but I really enjoyed it. You know, it was very informative and it gave me a lot to think about as it relates to structure. But one thing I will say about this book is, is like, and I don't know if this will make sense, but it's very masculine in the sense that Everything is very literal, and, and sometimes I think things are a little bit too structured. And, you know, there's been numerous studies that have shown that men and women think and process information differently. <laughs> so I understand where he's coming from, but at the same time, uh, it, there could be some flexibility in there that I think would work for me, and that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm kind of tweaking his system a little bit to make it work for me, at least to the best of my ability. So uh, that's going to be it for this check-in. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week, or I, I guess I should say midweek of the first week in January. I plan to do check-ins more often because I think it helps me stay accountable. And then if I find anything fun or interesting, I will make sure I share that with you. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I will check in really soon.